What's going on everybody? How about a nighttime edition of Steelers Train Camp Rewind? Just ended Friday Night Lights practice, amped up. There were over 13,000 fans there. You saw the just a raucous crowd, to be quite honest with you, supporting the players, man. And they responded with a physical, chippy practice that lived up to the hype of what you think Friday Night Lights is. Really started the backs on backers drill, but it kind of proceeds back to seven shots because the Steelers offense put up a 7-0 spot in seven shots. Folks, I've been on this beat for four years. This is my fourth training camp. I'm not sure I have ever seen one side put up a 7-0 spot. And so that was impressive right off the bat. The offense set the tone and said, we're coming out here. We're going to be more physical. We're going to dominate you. And so that's exactly what the offense wanted to do. And then we saw it as Alan Saunders comes right <laughs> by. <laughs> and then we saw backs on backers. And this is really where it amped up. The physicality amped up. Patrick Queen, Najee Harris had two reps. The first rep, Najee Harris basically picked up Patrick Queen, threw him into the crowd, almost hit a few of reporters actually. Uh, and the second rep, Patrick Queen came back, hit him with the bull rush. They started jawing at each other. Then it was Alandon Roberts against Jalen Warren. <laughs> Landon Roberts, you know how he is, instigates it, talks trash, runs right through Jalen Warren. And I mean this, Jalen Warren got hit right on the helmet and his visor was cracked in two. And so that's the type of physicality we were talking about. They started John again. Next up, Jalen Warren won, but they started going at it. Those two guys, the starting linebackers and the starting running backs, man. How about that? It was really a good tone setting. We even saw it throughout the rest of that drill, like guys like Peyton Wilson versus Aaron Shamplin uh, and others were going at it. So that was a physical tone setting practice. And then when team came, they were hitting each other in the team run. Everything was on the plate. So it was pretty, pretty, pretty physical today. Uh, one of the more physical practices I've covered uh, since I came on the beat, to be quite honest with you. And this team has a little bit of an edge, man. Doesn't you know? Doesn't mean they're going to exactly win games, but they definitely have an edge to them. I think another thing that really sticks out to me today was Justin Fields. I mean, we have to talk about Justin Fields. He's been very good this week. I think he had a solid day yesterday, probably his worst day of the week. But since that moment, when he got that day off on Monday and the pads came on, He's played more consistent. He actually threw with anticipation today. He showed off his arm. He was making tough throws. Uh, he was making them over the middle. Him and George Pickens have a great connection now. It seems like these guys have kind of learned each other, have this chemistry, know where the break's going to be, know where they these guys you know like kind of the ball in different areas. And so you see the chemistry blooming, and he was awesome today. Justin Fields, big-time winner. Another big time winner, man. The edge rushers today were balling. Um, we saw Marcus Golden destroy, I think, every team rep at least once when he was out there. Uh, you know, when he was in every single team period, he even got some rest of the ones and destroyed it. Man, the tackles had a tough day between him, Herbig, Highsmith, and Watt. But Troy Falatano had a nice day today. Looked good in one-on-ones, went up against Nick Herbig. That was a really fun battle uh, between those two. And he... 1-2-1. One, one. Falatano 1-2-1. One, one. Herbie had a sweet spin move on the second rep. I think Falatano came back and won the third one. Um, so really impressive stuff from Troy Falatano. He continues to grow. We talked about this tackle situation earlier. We understood why. I waxed poetic and hey, when I am wrong, I am wrong. And so I was wrong. And Roderick Jones has an elbow injury. He was practicing a little bit, but it's limiting him right now. It's a little tough to practice with that brace fully. So Troy Falatano is getting some more reps alongside Dan Moore. We did see Jones and Falatano get one rep today. So Jones did get a left tackle rep today, but it was only one rep. So that's probably a big part of the reason why that is happening. So mystery's figured out. Much ado about nothing. And when you're wrong, you're wrong. So I want to admit that one, um, but we'll see what's going on. I think, folks... And this is a prediction I'm going to make. I, I just, just logically, I, I don't have you know sources telling me this or anything. What I see with my own two eyes, I think Troy Falatano will start week one. He looks polished. He looks ready to go. So I think he will start week one. Another guy looked good today, Zach Frazier. Um, had a few really nice reps today. Was moving some guys, uh, getting out in front. Um, the, the offense really had a great day overall today. But I thought the rookie O-lineman came along. Justin Fields is looking good. 
and the heat we had from this practice made it a really fun one under the lights. Folks, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back here tomorrow afternoon because it's still practice at 155 tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody.